Jimmy O'Brien at last year's winter meetings in Vegas. And I didn't know he was going to become a huge star and uh, actually sat down and did an interview with uh, you and Jake. And now John Boy Media has been at the center of this investigation. It was started by The Athletic, and you followed up, and John Boy joins us right now. Jimmy O'Brien is his name. You started putting together videos of the, of the bang-bang of the trash cans and, and the, the Farquhar incident as well. So my first question to you is when all this came down, did you feel good about things, or did you feel, wow, I, I kind of contributed to guys that lost their job? No, I, I don't feel like I should be at fault for anyone that's getting fired or getting caught up in this. Right. I didn't even break any news. All I did was make it really digestible for the public. And when you read it, you're like, oh, that sounds interesting. When you see it, it kind of is frustrating. Uh, this is really easy to hit when you can sit on a curveball. So I think all I did was the video just helped people realize what exactly was going on. And also, The Athletic is behind a paywall, and everyone consumes video and audio now. So it's just kind of a different way of, you know, media consumption. Did Major League Baseball ever get in touch with you to have you look at this stuff more or look at your stuff? They never got in touch with me. I know, I know for a fact that uh, a team owner sent in my video to Manfred and said, this is what we've been talking about. Oh. Um, so I know that he watched the video. I know that it went a lot of places. It's crazy. But that's, that's kind of, you know, fires, they, they broke it to the public within the walls of Major League Baseball. This had been rumored and reported heavily. And that's why Jessica Mendoza's comments this morning I thought were ill-advised because keep it within while it was within and nothing happened. Yeah, she was a, a bit uninformed, I think, when she said that because, you know, it was, they knew all this. There's a story that they, they told the security in 2018 at every stadium. Uh, they sent security to kind of, you know, make sure nothing shady was going on, and they told the people that went to Minute Maid specifically, listen for banging. That's how much they knew about all of this within its own walls already, you know. They were on the lookout. All right, so what do you know about the story today with Altuve and the buzzer, and then the, uh, they say it's Carlos Beltran's niece. She has discontinued her Twitter or blocked it, and now they, you know, some people, Gary Sheffield Jr. is saying it's a, it's a burner account. So what do you know? I know that you're in the know with this kind of stuff. The buzzers, I, was, I laugh that it comes up again because everyone, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Everyone says conspiracy theory because if it's not true, it is. But even if it's true, it just, it's so nuts. It really changes everything from, you know, banging a trash can is bad. But if you really go the, to lengths of buzzer, it's terrible. I had heard about it. The, from a couple people. There's, so, there's something about the banging on the trash cans that is bad as it is because it's like such a bootleg way of doing it. It's kind of juvenile. It's kind of juvenile, but once you're like, no, no, we went and got a Bluetooth system and we installed it into our shirts, it really does sort of up the ante on the whole thing. So yeah. you've been told by people in baseball that this has been suspected. Yes. I, I had Because I didn't know. Why would I make that up? So someone came to me and, and said, hey, uh, do you know the other met what they changed to after they couldn't bang on the trash cans anymore because in the report when Farquhar banged they ran and hid the monitor so they were like they're on to us so they changed their relay system right so someone said you know what they changed it to and I was like no and they told me and I was like that's insane and I, I I'm not having broken anything throughout this I wait until it comes out and then I say yeah I heard this or I didn't hear that and Joel Sherman reported you know I've heard this rumored way back in November and I said yeah that's what I heard too from two people and now since then I you know I went to winter meetings and kind of of players and everyone are using me because I, I have nothing to lose, I guess. Right. Uh, and so I'll talk about this and, you know, they'll DM me or email me and say, like, hey, I heard that too. I've heard it from, like, at least five different parties. They don't know each other. So either it's true or it's a really well-spread so, rumor. So what, when Trevor Bauer tweets out today, I've heard this from multiple sources, that doesn't surprise you? No. I, that's kind of what I expect. I think there's a lot of people saying that as well, but they're not just saying it publicly. So, so when you hear the news today that Part of the investigation was this in 2019, and Manfred saying they didn't find anything. You find that suspicious, or do you think this kind of falls under the anonymity that they got for blowing the whistle on their superiors in 2017? I find everything about Manfred's report suspicious. I don't know if you guys have gone through it or read it. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to read it to you, but there's a part where he says that after in 2018, the banging scheme stopped. But that just means the banging part. Because he goes on to say they still used the replay room and and transmitted signs from the catcher uh, through the dugout in person. So 
the, you're saying it didn't stop. Just the banging on the trash can stopped. We know that. Mm -hmm. Somehow they were still getting these signals to the batter. They changed the relay system. There's rumors about the bullpen catcher. There's rumors about the buzzers. There's a lot of different ways they can go about it. Now, you also were in the forefront with a video that you produced that or really zoomed in on with Robinson Torino. So tell us about that. So that was pointed out. At the time, I said, what, what the heck was that that fell off his bat? That's weird. And uh, someone said it's the authentication sticker of his bat, and he accidentally swung with it. And then I had people in that department say, there's no way. Take a look at them. They're flimsy. Something fell off of him or his bat, hit the catcher in the head, bounced onto the dirt. He scurries and picks it up and tries to pocket it real quick. Then it gets stuck to his fingertip because it's tape. Right. I have no idea what that is, but I know under all of this other stuff it's sketchy now everything is you now know? jimmy the, right. the, you know we've seen pictures of uh, of altuve rounding third looks like he has a piece of tape and i want to ask you if if there is a buzzer system does it have to be connected to a receiver and a wire or can you do it through bluetooth so uh, i googled it and a bunch of people googled and sent me and there's it's just like a, a battery basically you know the small watch batteries mm -hmm. that you tape to your chest and then there's a bluetooth remote somewhere they're pretty and, easy and that to sends access. a signal. So, yeah, a little buzz or something like that. You know, we were talking about this earlier. It, if, if that's what happened, I mean, it, you have to be incredibly um, alert and the synapses in your brain. I mean, I'm not saying it's a good way to cheat, but Altuve still is talented if, if that, in fact, took place. Yeah, the, even the banging, like, the, they had to react still super so quickly quick to the banging. Yeah. It definitely helped. You can see their whole bodies ease up when they hear the curveball banging, and, you know, then they take the curveball. And if they don't hear one, they sit on it. So, I mean, the the buzzer, it's plausible. Did they do it? Like, I don't, I don't know how we're going to get proof. Right. But it's heavily rumored, and a lot of people have heard that go around. Before today, had you heard from all the people that talk to you now that the Altuve homer was possibly sketchy? No, the only thing I, I was told, and people just like to send hints my way, and someone said Chapman was the only pitcher at Minute Maid Park to not use a sequence with runners not on. Really? Yes. Everyone else. Remember, Tanaka was using multiple sequences, with, even without runners on. Everyone does, and, and the announcers always say, for fear that they're cheating. <laughs> well, right. I think they weren't fearful. They knew they were cheating, or they knew people were picking it up. But Chapman did not use... So maybe that's what that smirk was. Maybe it's that's like, what oh, I thought. maybe I should have. It's a different He's, read now on the smirk. Because we yeah. talked about it with Terry Francona. If the information's out there then isn't it incumbent on the victims to do something about it? Like, I, I look back at Farquhar, they figured it out, right? Yes, but, so, yeah. So if, if it's around baseball, then that's a bad job out of Chapman to not, not change things up or change the sequences. I mean, well, unless he just felt, I'm so good, I don't need that. Yeah, the other thing with the sequences is you can change the sequence, but you have to change often. Do you have, have you seen those viral videos of the guy who invented uh, the box and when someone robs something off your door... It, does glitter and fart noises. Right. He's a YouTuber. He's a mechanic. Okay. He invented an app, same guy, that's for Little Leaguers to decode signs. So you just tump, punch in like one, two, three, and then you punch in the result, curveball. It's an algorithm. And I've heard that MLB teams are using this to decode sequences in live time. So they use their app and, you know, okay, it was one, two, four, two, fastball. Three, one, three, curveball. And by a couple pitches, I mean, in the guy's YouTube video who invented the app, in like five pitches, you know the sequence. So that I've heard that that's, that's something a lot of teams are using, not just the Astros. But that's a way to even make sequences not matter. Well, do you make sense of the Beltron Nice slash burner account? Well, what, is, what uh, have you heard? I don't know who runs that account. Mm -hmm. They clearly know stuff about Beltron. They were, it is not uh, Beltron's niece, right? I don't know. I don't know if it is or isn't, but they knew about his him stepping down. They knew about him getting the job. Mm -hmm. There's clearly someone with inside I feel, information. I, I feel like when she, th when quote, she threw out the, well, and I have locker room photos, felt aggressive. His yeah. niece is around taking pictures of players wearing the, like. It, it the, could still be the niece, but she's just kind of talking talking up a little bit there. Right. Well, who knows who it is? It's someone that had information. And, and then, you know, sure. people are making a big deal that the Beltron family has said it's not our niece. Well, if it was, would they... No. Well, and does it matter? And does it matter? The the, the only the information she's the had only is, thing that matters is that it's been proven her information is good before. Right. That's all that matters. The and, account's given good information. And if it's someone spreading false information for notoriety or for humor, they wouldn't go dark right after they did it. They'd keep it up. You know what I mean? And right. also, they they the same person or account implicated Glaber Torres today, right? Yes. Yeah, so she said or they said, watch Glaber's leg next year. Which made me laugh because now we're they'll probably change it if they were doing something with the lake. And then she said two bullpen guys the Yankees have 
and one has a live feed in the bullpen. You know, it's amazing to me that this kind of stuff could go on at this level because baseball and sports now, it's so transient. So your teammate becomes your enemy in an eye blink. Why wouldn't they give you up? They had to know all your secrets then. Yeah, I, I, that's the confusing part. Well, the scary part would be the reason they don't give you up is because everybody has secrets. Yes, but there has been some teams that are, like the Yankees have been loud about this. Yeah, they I have. I, Cashman has been mad about this for a while. J Judge pulled the pictures Judge from social media. Picture, yeah, that's kind of funny. Uh, I was laughed. How long was he sitting on that? Very stark for him to do it, though, because that's not a judging thing to do. Yeah. He usually holds his... Well, he, got, he got money taken away from him in yeah. arbitration. If he gives that MVP award, he makes more than uh, $8 million, right? You would so, think. You yeah. would think. I think but, it counts. But CC has spoken out, uh, and I know that the Yankees complain to Major League Baseball about it, but for, you know, they're the victim in this, right? Because 2017 and 2018, close series, especially 17, was game seven. And so they're, they're probably affected by it more than any team. They, I, I think they have been a little quiet about it. Uh, right right now, we haven't really heard anybody officially from the Yankees. Uh, it's CC in an interview, but he's just an advisor now. But yeah. no, nothing really from, from the, the been, biggest victim in this. They have been quiet, I thought. Th yeah, relative to the rest of the league, I think they've been one of the more outspoken teams. Right. Cashman said on radio, you know, he thanked me for what I was doing and outing this. And I heard that Cashman was furious for two years trying to send this to the league. And I, I saw a bunch of things that the Yankees department sent to the league over the last two years. Every team has a guy that walks the grounds at every stadium and takes pictures of shady stuff and sends it to the league now. So the league saying, you know, we did a thorough investigation, you probably had 90% of it sitting in your lap because teams have been emailing it to and, you. And, that, and that's why Mike Fires coming forward is so valuable because it brought the odor out into the open where you had to address it. It wasn't just in your basement. It was all over the house, so you had to address it. And I, I think, uh, Jimmy, that... I think Manfred has to address the buzzer stuff now. Now, um, Joel Sherman spoke to them, and they said, well, they, they investigated 2019, and it's, it's uh, you know, they didn't find anything. But you've got to address it. You can't just sit behind a statement. I, I, I'd like a whole new statement. That statement is, is worded so funny. In one paragraph, he says, Hinch destroyed a monitor because he didn't like what was going on. In the next sentence, he says he never expressed uh, disdain or, right. or, or negative thoughts to Cora and the crew. Well, which is it? Right, you just said destroying a monitor is expressing negative thoughts. You just thoughts. said two different things in one paragraph. Then he goes on to say, you know, it, it, it kept well, going, but Hinch didn't say I, anything I, about it. Oh, so, like, I, the whole statement's... Well, funny. yeah, we just, but I don't, I don't know if they, we will get the statement because I, I still think there's a possibility to get those guys talk about 2017. They might have gotten absolved for anything that they might be accused of in the future. And the Players Association will fight any suspension. We can talk all we want that Altuve should be banned for doing this. Players Association isn't going to allow that. So doesn't it behoove Major League Baseball to just say, yeah, we didn't find anything because... What can they do about it? Oh, this is what I said before, and the smartest answer for MLB baseball, no matter what the results were, to say, yes, this happened in 2017 with the banging, because they could not deny that. Right. But we didn't find it anywhere else, and we haven't found it any other teams. It's not rampant within our league. I mean, that's the best thing that they can say to save their face, and that's kind of what they said. So are you scouring a lot of video today to try to find a little... No, Ray's little known secret. I crowdsourced almost all of it. You know, I did I did the first video, and then uh -huh. we have the podcast. I said, if you're bored, search us on YouTube. It's so easy to hear the banging and find the banging. Well, how about the, I mean, the little... Uh, the buzzers? Yeah, the buzzers. It, it, it's so tricky because everything is up for interpretation or spe to speculate on. And then, like, you know, I, I posted one about Reddick today, and then uh, someone said, that's confetti, and they show another picture, and now I'm wrong. And I didn't, you know, I, I'm more posting, say, like, what's this? And sometimes you're wrong, and then people get mad. It, so one thing that's going to be interesting too, I'm curious to see whether you and the people who follow you um, will will look start really getting into the analytics of what the players were swinging at over the course of the season too. Like yeah. like, did Alex Bregman never swing at sliders? Have you seen the chart that shows the walk to K ratio for every team in the league? And it's like you know like this, and the Astros are down here, completely different league. They're like three leagues better than every other team in baseball last couple years. And then I, I think I saw that Altuve 2017 batting average at home in the playoffs was 450 and on the road 173. Yeah, but uh, then if you look at stats during the season, it's kind of the same yeah. between road and home. But maybe they were only giving these bangs at really important times of the game. Right. Yeah. Who knows? High leverage spots. Who knows? Who knows how deep this goes? We, we were just saying that you have no idea. We think we thought we were near a bottom. We really don't know how deep yeah. this story goes.
Now, did you ever think Savages in the Box would get the kind of attention for you and, and your nascent company as it did? No, it's been great. Uh, that was, I mean, it's just kind of what, and you know because you've been following for a while, that that's just kind of the, the rhythm in which we covered games. If something happens, we can, we've made it ourselves available to deliver it in our way right away, and that was a blessing. No, real quick, cool. that one, mm -hmm. where did the audio come from? Just the field mic. So that was the game before it got rained out. It got canceled. So that was a makeup game, day game, weekday game. Mm -hmm. No one in the crowd. Right. Completely empty stadium. Yep. So it's just the field mics, and it was just a loud. There was no crowd to dole out. But Ooh. but who aired that? Re where did you find that replay of it? Oh, MLB offers it. MLB offered it. Got yeah, it. Got it. Yeah. And then you just took it. You added. You, you listened to it. And you can it. read lips too, right? Yeah, yeah. I can read. I can read lips pretty well as well. But you could hear that one. Yeah, wow. MLB offers. Park noise only, you know, for people that don't want to listen to Michael's beautiful call. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Which would be, I mean it, Michael, by the way, you should, fight the, you should fight the league on this. This shouldn't even be offered. Yeah, you know, but the Michael's feed gets much better ratings. It does. It's tremendous. Absolutely. Jimmy, we thank you for coming in. I know you yes. you hiked over and also you, you're getting over root canal surgery. That's why your face is yeah, when was swollen that? on the yeah. left side. Two days ago? Okay. Two days ago, yeah. How you feeling? I'm all right. Just feels like I got punched in the face. Yeah, you have a little good. bit of a black eye, right? Is yeah, that, that was a little bummer to wake up with that, but yeah. it's all right. It'll go. They said it'll be gone in five days. I said, okay, I'm on camera every day of my life, so that's not <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You know what? It gives you a tough look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Say so some Astro fan found me. Thanks for coming in, and, and you know I'm a fan, so yes. I Thank appreciate you very much. it. And I'm happy for your success, too. Thank you, Thank man. You. Congrats.